You've seen one of these before, Philip? Um, yeah, with some of the fried chicken companies. Yeah, it looks something like fried chicken comes in, but this one is not. See the things that are on the outside there? Yeah. What does that say is inside, probably? Well, those are papers, so you probably put paint in there. Right, that's, that's what most people would think, that this is a cardboard paint bucket that you can throw away. But it's the most important, or at least a very important part, of a magnifier. It is? Yeah. Here's what you do. First of all, you take that thing like that, and you cut some holes in it, see? Okay. There and there. Do they have to be um, totally opposite of Not each other? Not necessarily, you'll see. Because in an art supply store, you can buy these domes that you put over flowers and the rest of everything. But this time, you turn it upside down and put it like that. Okay. Now, you take this card, and I will now add the magnification factor. Okay. What is that? Water. Water. Well, and notice that the, that the um, plastic was round at the bottom. Yeah. And now it's flat on top, just like a magnifying glass. Put the king of diamonds in there and take a look. Look at that. Well, it magnifies it. Right. So that's how you can make a water magnifier with a paint bucket and a plastic dome. Okay. Now, maybe you won't have a dome like that at home, and maybe you won't even have a plastic or a, a cardboard bucket. Here's how you can make another one. Same idea. Plastic pail, get some plastic wrap. See, put holes in the side, even in the bottom. Put the, put the king of diamonds in there, and I'll add the magnifying factor. Take a look, what do you see? Well, with the, with the dome, it makes it, it makes it, uh, well, it makes it... It magnifies, magnifies it. it. Yeah, and this isn't quite as good, is it? Because it isn't as nice and, and smooth, yeah. but it still will magnify. Yeah. So the next time you see a paint bucket, what are you going to call it? Um, bucket magnifier. Very good.